All right, what's up, Clemson Nation? Let's address South Carolina Part 2, and I'll, I'll address Mr. Zequan first because I just watched his video. Um, of course, like I said, I mean, my, my video spoke for itself. South Carolina fans have become very cocky. And listen, I know you beat us three years in a row. I'm fully aware of that. You know, we've done it a lot, but we didn't get as arrogant as y'all do. We've had these streaks where we've beat you in baseball, basketball, and football before. But when we do it, see, what I was trying to prove to you is your Gamecock logic. Your Gamecock logic, Zaquan. See, when y'all win, y'all are dominating, and it's just, I mean, this year's already over. Y'all have already won this year. But when we win, y'all's logic is, oh, that was last year. It's a new year. That was last year. That was just, it was just months ago. I know it. I'm just using your own logic against you. And making y'all look a little dumber than you already are. And then you're going to go start talking about our quality wins. Listen, son, Clemson was probably your best win last year. It probably was. Other than our meltdown against West Virginia, Clemson might have been y'all's best win. And it's, it's just funny that y'all don't give a team any credit for being at least decent, who was probably one of your best wins, only one of your only ranked wins last year. And you called us when we were playing our worst of the year. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But don't let facts get in the way of your garnet-colored glasses, which are ridiculous right now. Um, yeah, you talked about how you had, we're losing, you know, players and stuff. South Carolina will not, I mean, they will not win the East this year. I'm sorry. Heck, it'll be years before they even touch the East again. You're not, you're, you're not an elite program in the SEC East. You will not last. Okay? Spurrier won't be there forever. You've already lost your defensive coordinator who took credit for most of y'all's success last year because, let's be honest, Spurrier's offense was not getting it done. Okay? Zekwon, I think I know where Clemson's program stands, and y'all have not, you know, passed this indefinitely like y'all think in your big heads you have. I'm sorry. Don't let facts and don't let common sense get in the way. Hey, congrats for beating us three years in a row, but this is a new year, and y'all haven't won in football yet this year. Okay? And then we got Garner Army, what he was talking about. Um, oh, by the way, Zekwon, I just wanted to tell this too. You want to talk about the Big East? Look, we lost to the Big East champion. I know we got blown out. It was embarrassing. You, bitch asses, lost to who a few years ago? UConn? Yeah, at least we didn't lose to UConn. Yeah, we lost to South Florida. At least we didn't lose to UConn this year. We've both lost to mediocre Big East teams, so don't even bring that up. You're not a mighty SEC team either, so don't bring that up. Now let's move on to Garnet Army and what he was talking about. Garnet Army started saying what the typical Gamecock response would be to that conference schedule. Uh, being in the ACC, all that stuff. And he wanted to know why we will beat South Carolina next year. Why we will beat South Carolina. First of all, you didn't tell me why South Carolina would beat us. You didn't list any good reasons at least. You might have told me, but you didn't list any good reasons. Okay, here's the reasons why Clemson will beat South Carolina. Clemson has a much better offense than South Carolina. Y'all have Lattimore. We don't know if Lattimore will be healthy by then uh, because he's been injured. He got injured last year, and, um, you know, he might be prone to injury again. We don't know how Shaw will play this year against a tougher schedule. Our offense is proven and will only improve. Our defense, y'all's defense, you lost some players. Like Ingram, like I said, you lost some key players, but you return a lot of talent. Uh, we are returning uh, a good bit of our defense. We've got a new coordinator, and yes, Kevin Steele was a good coordinator, but you know, last year he kind of blew it. We didn't have a ton of talent, but we had enough talent to do a lot better than we did. Hopefully, we'll do better than that. We will be good enough to win with our offense playing good, and hopefully we won't be in meltdown mode like we were last time we were down there. And... Uh, Last time we played y'all, we were in meltdown, but we just lost to NC State. Um, and you want to talk about conferences? Look, you know we don't like the ACC. We hate the ACC. Um, you know, y'all using the SEC, though? See, here's the thing. We win the ACC. We won the ACC last year. And we got real rings instead of y'all's fake rings that Zequan loves to put in his little videos. I'd be so embarrassed to have to put a ring that says best season ever. No championships. No. No championships. But best win. Best season ever. God, dude. At least, I'm not, I mean, most people are making 
uh, movies and books about their national championship and undefeated seasons. Besides our undefeated season, first one ever, 1900, y'all's never. Uh, but, you know, most people are doing that while y'all are making videos for 11 and 2 seasons, books for 11 and 2 seasons, rings for 11 and 2 seasons with no championships, fifth place in the SEC. I'm sorry, that's embarrassing. Y'all give us reasons to make fun of you. Even when y'all win, you lose. Um, but, uh, you know, as far as the conferences are concerned, we, the fan, as fans, we can't just leave. And our administration does not want to leave the conference we started, even though we've been overthrown and controlling it. So there's nothing we can really do. We can just hope to leave the conference sometime soon. As far as conference strength went, I don't care what ranks as you pull up. Our uh, schedules were pretty close last year. Like, I, I mean... They were pretty close last year. There's no doubt about that. Y'all think you play this invincible one. And here's another thing. While we're winning the ACC, y'all are bragging about being in a conference. Not winning a conference, but being in a conference. At least we don't brag about... I mean, if we were in the SEC, we wouldn't be bragging about being in the conference. If we weren't winning it, um, how do you expect to get respect? No wonder you're not getting any respect from the likes of Tennessee and Georgia. You haven't even won the SEC yet. Win the SEC and then you can get some respect. Instead of just beating teams when they're down... Maybe you should try taking advantage of beating everybody and winning the SEC if you want the respect you're trying to get. I know y'all want our, uh, everybody's attention so much and you want to be like, just want them to say, oh my gosh, South Carolina is good. These guys are our rivals now. Look, the only natural rival you even have in the SEC is Georgia. The rest of them don't even care about y'all really. Look, Tennessee and Florida, <laughs> they don't really care about South Carolina. Why do you think they never really talk about y'all and videos when they're talking about their rivals and beating people, okay? South Carolina's not cared about in the SEC. Um, and then you, the last thing I want to talk about is the fact that uh, Garner and I, we talked about how we do not develop our talent. We've had plenty of players go to the NFL in the first round. We've had plenty of players uh, have great development. Daquan Bowers uh, developed good, but he had some injuries near the end, which is why he hasn't been as good in the NFL. C.J. Spiller is becoming a... Solid running back in the NFL. Jacoby Ford, solid wide receiver in the NFL. Um, you know, we produce talent that we get. The problem with our team is they don't get up for the lower tire games like Maryland and NC State and these other games we just don't get up for. That's what Dabo Swinney has been addressing this offseason too. So you can bet that will be no more. We develop talent fine. We're not the ones with coaches pissing in the street and leaving everywhere. I'm sorry. Take off the garnet colored glasses and realize you're just not as gonna be as good this year. You're not gonna be a dominant force for years to come and you're not gonna dominate Clemson for years to come. Everybody gets lucky every now and then. It's not gonna last. Y'all make it too easy to talk about it. Zekwon wants to say y'all shouldn't be talking about anything. Well, why do y'all make it so easy to attack you? Okay, South Carolina, you're nobodies. An 11-2 season with three wins over ranked team and, and three wins over teams with winning records is not going to make you a somebody. You know what? Look at your own schedule before you come talk to Clemson. Teams that don't even care about their schedule strength and our conference because we're not conference homers, and um, you know we don't care about our conference. I'm sorry that we've actually won our conference enough to not care about it, and we've actually you know had success something y'all don't know anything about. Go Tigers. It sucks to be you, Cox.